fellow writers. So I know that some of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel also write a lot and you know that I write and I'm willing to bet that the majority of you who write do it in and amongst holding down another job. These last couple of weeks I have been really busy and I am notorious for being in the middle of more than one writing project at once because I adopt the Emma Donoghue style of writing where if I get stuck on one project I move on to the next project so that there's always a project to be working on. Because of this I've got completed first drafts of lots of short stories, second drafts of lots of short stories, a novel that's in the stages of its third draft that I've decided will never see the light of day and I never ever ever want to work on again, and two other novels, one of which the first draft is almost complete and the other of which was last year's NaNoWriMo effort and god knows when I'll get around to dealing with that. Anyway, so the one where the first draft is almost completed, I've been working on for three and a half years, and usually I also have a policy of not rereading anything during the first draft, but I made a big decision in the first draft of this novel that that was what I was going to do, and I was actually going to edit because I was so many thousand words in, and I've been working on this one on and off for about three, four years now, and so... I felt the need to go back into this novel and reread it and see where I was at. Fast forward now and I had an end point in mind for this novel the whole time I was working on it and I changed my mind to an ending that I think is wholly better and suits the story a lot more and will have a lot more impact with the readers and people who, well, will read it. Well done, Nick. And yeah, things were going really well, and then suddenly I got really busy to the point where I haven't had time to actually sit down and work on this particular novel very much at all over the last few weeks. I've been taking in chapters to my writing group and reading them aloud, which again is something I don't usually do, and that's been really helpful. And then other than scribbling down the odd sentence here and there, I haven't had the time to actually sit and work on it for a good couple of hours, which is how I generally like to write. And I also seem to have normalised my body clock, which means I go to bed at 11pm and get up around 7am, and so that means my preferred time of writing at 2.30 in the morning, I am now asleep, so I seem to have lost that too. And I know that I should be reopening this draft and working on it. And I do, I open it to write a sentence or to fix some typos and then I close it. But today I am suddenly free, unexpectedly free, and I have tried every excuse in the book to get out of actually doing this writing project. I've texted just about everybody to see if they're free, although most of them are at work. And so yeah, I have no legitimate excuse not to sit down and spend my entire afternoon writing. And then so now I have sat down to write and I just have this absolute feeling of dread. I do not want to open the document. I would rather do just about anything else, which is one of the reasons why I'm making this video, because I've said before that video making is my preferred way of procrastination. I am about probably 15 to 20,000 words away from the end, if that, maybe even less, and I just can't bring myself to finish it, and it's a straight right to the end. I know what I want to happen. I've written out the first couple of paragraphs in most of the chapters so that I know what I need to write in when I get there, and... I just, I, there is this block in my brain, it's not writer's block, it's just a motivation block and a just, I just don't want to do it and this isn't like me so if anybody could give me an excuse to not sit and write my novel for half an hour that would be epic. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me and I will see you again soon, bye!